Hey yo guys, Wobble Wobble Wobble, this is Downtown Adrian J with Kicking the Sounds in London Town. How you going out there? Welcome to the channel, welcome to Adrian J Online and welcome to AJ's BMW. I have no idea how this is going to come out and I'm probably going to get a strike but really I don't care. And that is a total, absolute total uh, change, a total difference. I have got a, um, a really good free upgrade for your BMW. In the car, it's uh, very, very hot. I've got the doors open. Now, the actual fix is only going to take you a few minutes, uh, and you, you don't need too many uh, tools. But I just want to give you a little bit of background and uh, my kind of thoughts on this as well. So I've had a lot of cars, a lot, a lot of cars, and I'm a bit of an audiophile. And in previous cars in the UK, I've always put amps and equalizers and speakers and DSPs and boom boxes and all kinds of things to get a really good sound. Now, in BMWs and a lot of modern cars, everything is hardwired, fiber optics. You can't mess around with anything really. Um, you can't go all out. I mean, you can if you know that what you're doing but generally you can't. So you're stuck with stock items. Um, so you can upgrade speakers, it's about it you can do. You can, I think, upgrade the amps, depending on the model you have. Now, this one is Harman, Harden, uh, Harman Kardon, or HK, uh, which is the topper of the range, I believe. Someone proved me wrong. Um, in the previous BMW, I had, uh, I think it's Bose, or whatever the, the base base system now both actually i'll be honest with you both systems are good you know they're very loud it's pop top down you can boom out you set your tunes and it's not too bad now i seem to remember in the one series you could adjust bass treble and mid you have that kind of control and you actually need right you have absolutely have to have some kind of audio manipulation you need to be able, it doesn't matter how good the system is, it doesn't matter how expensive it is, right? Uh, on the, uh, actually, I used to work in a hi-fi shop and the very basic uh, amps had no, um, and no, no tone controls at all, just a volume, right? And that's because in a house you set everything up and you're done. And the car is different, windows down, different seating positions, and you're not in the best place to listen to hi-fi in the car. So, you need bass, you need treble, you need mid, you need all three. Uh, fader, good front, back, left and right, okay? But you do need the three. Now, for some unknown reason, unknown reason, in this 50,000 car, $50,000 car, it has bass, treble, and no mid. Like, what? That's right, you heard me say, no mid. So bass is important, so you want to feel, depending on the type of music, you want to feel that bit of a, <clears throat> that kind of, that feeling in your stomach, right? You need the top to highlight those, the, the tiki 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 tiki, the teeny teeny stuff. But you also need mid. You definitely need mid because too much or too little mid uh, is bad well, for the sound it can make the sound too muddy too mushy um, the, the voice the audio bit is mainly in the mid so if you're listening to someone singing you don't want them screeching or the bass you need the mid bit you need all three you need to be and depending on the song or track you're listening to or the source so like radio, this, that, the other, you need to be able to manipulate them. It doesn't matter how good, doesn't matter how many speakers you've got, doesn't matter how many amps you've got, it doesn't matter if you are sitting in your car and you're listening to the perfectly recorded piece of music, It you need to be able to adjust. And it, it boggles the mind that BMW couldn't put a mid-control in a $50,000 car. Um, the sound, I've always been a little bit, I'm, I'm not really sure. It doesn't, on some tracks, it doesn't seem loud. You can actually get quite a good boomy bassy, bassy part. Um, 
but it sometimes sounds to me very washed out very very washed out sometimes very muddy uh, unclear and that's the mid lack of mid so I know I can't mess around with the car too much because of what it is right as, as I just said before so I was looking around and uh, there's a, a, a company called Bath Sound who upgrades the speakers and this and that and the other and then I looked on a couple around and this is a Fritz's channel had this and uh, he said well look you know you can do this for free all right yeah it's clickbait right obviously it's clickbait um, well, I was expecting it to have some kind of stupid garbagey thing to give you free, you know, I don't know, like you turn this or turn that off or something, right? And um, now Fritz's channel, when you look, he shows you how to do this, okay? Um, and the reasons where why I thought, and so I'm going to link in the channel here somewhere. So he got that from two addicts BMW two addicts which I'm a member of and there's a big 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 article on different stages of upgrading your system from wild to wild okay now there there are like I would say four maybe three or four or five stages this is the first stage okay so it's always best when you're doing upgrades in your car or anything do it in stages see the effects and if it doesn't have an effect, there's no point going on to uh, level two, right? So, the first stage, which is this. The second stage was, I think, maybe you know, 1.5, or maybe two. I'm going to call it level two. And I was trying to look for the link, because looking on the, um, the, the link for the fix I'm going to show you, it had another fix which you need BIMA code for, <laughs> BIMA code. And it talks about changing the, uh, an equalizer setting, right? And the problem is you have to go to expert mode and that's a little bit scary for me. In the ordinary mode in BIMA code, you don't, don't have to worry too much because it's foolproof. Expert mode, you have to need to know what you're doing. You can cause problems, okay? And there's no kind of guarantee on that. And I don't even think you can wipe that back. So that's stage two. Stage three is then you look at changing the speakers. Now, I was looking at my speakers, and these are good. Yeah, the quality is good. Harman Kardon are good. I don't. There is various people who will say no, they're not, and they're this and that and the other. But maybe people are listening to the system without this fix. So you want to know what the fix is? Okay, I'm going to show you the tools you need. You just need one of these, a trim removal tool. And you need one of these, okay? What are we gonna do? So, you have speakers. Now, this is what, this is what we're gonna, I'm gonna show you need to do before you do the work, right? And you will see an immediate, an amazing improvement. I guarantee you that, right? Now, if I can get that improvement on the top of the range, Harman Kardon, I guarantee you'll be able to, right? So that, what you need to do is you need to get a good quality source track that you know inside out or have listened to for a long time. Do not uh, get your iPhone, your iPad and run it through the, the thing, right? Don't, don't do that. How I have my music set up, and as you know, I DJ, I have high quality, top of the range, um, uh, audio recordings, okay, and I also download stuff of YouTube and download stuff of various pieces, and I I play around with the sound on my uh, my my stuff, and then what I do is I upload it onto the hard drive, okay. So it's like playing CD. Now you can there is a, 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 a sound check CD I have, which I actually didn't think about, but I can put my sound check CD with like a LED display and I can see the the, uh, the frequency response, okay? But that's very clinical, okay? So let's say I put a, a CD response and I can see the change. Sometimes you may not hear it with your ear, right? And that's what really counts. It doesn't, it's not what the SPL says or the DB says or whatever. It's what you feel and what you hear. But after listening to this, this would have definitely made a change. But anyway, Get a good CD. I, I mean, actually, even uh, go out and buy a CD, right? Properly recorded, another greatest hits 
album, you know, you get these albums re-recorded from the 50s. They don't get that crap. Get a new, properly recorded CD, right? Upload it. Now, I'm going to show you the settings. You want to listen to it first, right? Now, the problem with listening, and I was thinking about this, is you're here, you don't have a memory for hearing, okay? It, we have a memory for a lot of things, like we can remember tastes, we can remember feelings and things. But hearing is very, very different. You listen to something, and then 10 minutes later, 2 minutes later, 3 minutes later, if you come back and listen, you, you won't rem your hearing won't remember it. Okay? So actually this test, really what you need to do is you need to do the fix straight away, quickly, and then try it. Okay? So I didn't want to mess around with that because it's hot in the car. So what I did was I did the fit. I listened to my music. Then I had a good feeling of what the music sounded like. And then what I then did is I did the fix. But I could tell immediately because I know that the track. That's what I'm saying. You need a song which, which you, you, you know. Now, it doesn't really matter whether it's classical music, jazz, rap, hip-hop, soul, any kind of stuff. You need, the, you need something which is very dynamic okay you need something which has got got bass in there you need something which has hi-hats you need something which is voice right you you need that right so get something which is which you know <coughs> so i i decided to pick a couple of tracks which are uh on my soul funky thing so like 80s kind of grooves okay so good backbeat you need to set the settings we need depending there's going to depend on your bmw you need to be in a closed car, windows up. You need as close a box as possible, okay? Put um, all your stuff off, okay? No, demisters and blow it. You want it totally quiet in the car. You want to take your top, your, your bass and treble. Um, actually, when you, check, when you listen to music properly, if you've got a good setup, you actually need it on zero, all right? So what they call a... Um, uh, a flat response okay then you're really listening to the music and you, you can see what's that's happening, not always right? possible so what you can do what you need to do is you need to turn the bass and the treble all the way down all the way off okay okay now Continuous recording will now start now the next thing you need to do okay is take the uh, so you've got the uh, you've got the balance and a fader, front, back, left, right, okay? Now most people, you have it in the center, right? So middle of left and right, and middle of right front. So it's about here, okay? Now what you need to do is take it back a, a notch, a notch back. You want, because the, we're sitting here, right? I've got a speaker right next to me, then a speaker all the way there. I've got a speaker there. Then two back speakers, and I've got the bass under my thing. This is not the right place to be sitting listening to music. You need to be sitting on the console, right in the centre, right? So generally, what you do is you turn, you put the fade, the balance, a little bit to that side and a little bit back. So, but I've found for me, for my hearing and how I listen to stuff, as long as it's in the centre, I just take it one notch back, just turn it one notch back so it's back there. Then what you do is you put your your music on and you 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 set a point and i'll show you when you turn the volume you've got like a bar which comes up then it says entertainment and then you've got the full now the problem is you can't tell you know the 10 20 30 40 50 60 right so what i did was i put it at a point where the music was fairly loud not too loud and then i listened to the tune okay after I listened to the tune, sorry, while I was listening to the tune, I then whacked it all the way up to full volume. So, so one listening for distortion and the bass and all the kind of stuff. Then I stopped it and I played it again. Now the problem is if you listen to very loud music, one, it's not very good for you, and two, you can tire your ear hearing. So what happens is when you're trying to listen to things, your ear is tired. Okay, so you, it's, I can't explain it, just look it up. But it's not really a good thing if you're trying to analyze music to listen to something too long, too loud. Okay? So that's the first thing you need to do. Once, so once you do that, you then make the change. 
then you do the same thing, right? You play the music on that, whatever that level is that you set initially, then turn the volume up. Then once you've turned it up, take it back to that setting. And then what you want to then do is, now with the new improved sound, turn up your bass till you just kind of feel it, just turning up, then just take it a notch back, okay? Do the same with the treble, take it all the way up, and take it a notch back, okay? And then the fader, just take it one more notch back, okay? And then listen to, uh, 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 then what you do is listen to another totally different song, okay? So you get a, a good feel for it. Now what I, what I did was I took the stuff apart, which I'm gonna show you now. And then what I then did is I did the test, did the fix, the fix just took me like a, a, a minute at that point, came back, listened to it, and the result was awesome. It was totally different. I cannot show you uh, the sound, okay? Because what happens is you're not going to get the right audio on this, right? And also to get the, the best of volume, you're not, you have to turn it up and this is going to distort, promise you. And I really feel bad, I can't show you, but I can't show you. But I promise you, on your car, you can, you'll see an immediate difference. Now, if you don't see immediate difference, you can just put it back, no problem. And I was very, very skeptical. I thought, well, now I'm not gonna see a difference, but I did see a difference. Now, one other thing before I show you, these speakers, as I said, they're at the top of the range, right? So on the video you see for, the original video you see, you'll see he, um, shows you the speaker and there's only one speaker so mine i have two speakers right and that's why when i looked at it i thought this is weird this is not going to work because maybe other 230s have inferior speakers they don't have the full speaker setup okay but then i also thought the other things that's going to happen is when you take a speaker out you increase the the wattage going to the other speakers Okay, so you actually get an, a natural increase of volume, okay? So anyway, all that spoken, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Now, I, I will, I promise you I'll show you. You've got a speaker in the center, right? So as I said, you've got, you've got two tweeters in the door, you've got two speakers in the, at the door, bottom, you've got two speakers there in the sides, you've got nothing in the back, uh, you don't have anything on the parcel shelf, you have the, um, uh, the bass thingy bob on the bottom and you've got a center one for staging I really don't understand staging uh, I kind of get it uh, but it's a mid so like almost like if you got the 5.1 uh, zero sound you got one two three four five and then the bass right 5.1 that's what I call it 5.1 so this is almost like 5.1 so there where I'm pointing and I'll show you you have a pair of speakers I don't know if you can see here there's like a, there's a tweeter and a, a, a speaker there what you need to do you need to get one of your things and lift it up and if you can see there's like clips they, they come up really nicely okay just work your way around okay so get your thing as I said underneath there just just work it work it work it work it and it'll come out you will then see on mine you will see two speakers, okay? And what you do is you need, then need, oh sorry, another thing I forgot that you need, let's show you immediately. You need one of these. You need a Torx 15, okay? Because where the speaker there is, you can't really get a, a screwdriver, so you need to get this Torx 15 and open it up. There's three screws uh, on each speaker, but, the good thing is, and actually I, do, I can show you the speaker. I'll show you how I took it off, but on the speaker itself, all right, can you see here? Can you see here? There'll be two connections. If you've got the dual speakers, right? You, you'll have an in coming to the speaker, right? And then you'll have an out, right? So most people, they just have one. Right, so what you need to do is, and I couldn't pull it, I don't know why, you need to get a pair of these, get it on there, and pull it, okay? Pull this one off, 
and then pull that one off. Actually, if you pull this one, that one is automatically disconnected, okay? So that's not necessarily an issue. So you disconnect this speaker. When you disconnect the speaker, you disconnect the center bit. And it is amazing, the sound, I'm telling you, it, it will knock your socks off. I am gonna probably look at doing the, the, uh, the equalizer part. Um, because if that will even improve it more, that's fantastic. Because really, you need some kind of DSP. But the I found that also, um, I as I said, after a little bit of tweaking, it was even better. What you do is you get that really, especially it's on a negative. It's not even on zero. You do get that bassy feeling. You get that, tick, 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 but it doesn't sound as muddy. It sounds very much more clearer. Um, I still. I think you, you need the tr mid for this, but it's, it's a definite improvement, okay? And I guarantee you do it. Now, if you do it this way, you'll see the improvement, and if you don't see an improvement, that's fine, because we're it's, it's our ears, right? What I hear is different to what you hear, okay? So I'm gonna show you uh, the area in there if I can. Uh, okay, can you see there? So that is, so you can see I've got my tweeter, I've got the two uh, connections which go into there, and that's all you have to do. So, let's see. So, you had that on there, you lift, take this out, you take the speaker, you take the squeaker, you pull these, uh, the two connections out, you can leave the connection in there, okay? And that speaker's disconnected. And that so so yeah, please like that like button, smash it please. And if you think I've helped you out, uh please subscribe. And if you like this, if if you like if you don't like this, tell me. Alright, message me, let me know, right? And if you do like it, tell others, alright? So from yours truly the big James and peace and peace out your time. Out of here like a teeth in the night. We out of here. Word to your mummy.